so Anthony, start by telling us a little bit about what you've seen really in the last two months. With yeah, well, the year started off great. You know, the, the beginning of January, the first two weeks, pending home sales were up. Buyers were out looking right after the first of the year. It was exciting. We said, wow, things are great. It was a mild winter so far. We thought we were getting off easy. It's going to be the best year ever. That's, we were hoping. And, then, and I still think it can be. But then January 26th came. We got over two feet of snow. And then another storm, another storm, another storm. And it dramatically slowed down the real estate market. Understandably so. so. I mean, who wants to list their home? And who wants to go out and look at properties when there's that much snow on the ground? Yeah, it's interesting. The um, you know, restaurants and yeah. retail shops all talk about how much that snow hurt their business, but it really yeah. hurt real estate as well. It, it hurt real estate, but to be totally honest, I feel worse for the restaurants because they are going to have a harder time making up the revenue. In my business, it just delays things. You know, I, I think that anyone who's looking to buy a home this spring that was going to buy in February will now buy in March or April uh, in the same thing for home sellers. So I think that it, it, it will come back around, but it just takes time and it created a real three-week pause in the market. Does that pause make any difference to prices? Um, I don't really think so. I think that people still have to be um, very conscious of where they price their home to sell and buyers also need to be do the correct amount of research and decide where they want to make an offer. Okay. And so what do you think is going to happen in the spring? You know, we talked about our predictions in January. Mm -hmm. What do you see happening for the rest of the year now? I think right now there is a mountain of pent up demand like there hasn't been in years. You know, in the month of February, for example, the amount of homes for sale from the beginning of February to the end went down. That hasn't happened since February 2002. So now we have a big amount of pent-up demand. Everyone's going to come out buying at once, and I think the market's going to be a real circus for a couple of months to catch up. And then by June, you know, I expect home sales in March to be down dramatically because pending home sales were down in February. April will probably be down a bit as well. But then May and June, home sales should be up dramatically, and then we should have a, a typical year from there on out. So the people out looking for homes will be down probably, you know, in March, or, or it'll go up in March and April, and then they'll actually well, yeah. close on the homes. Remember, there's a delay. If someone looks at a home today and makes an offer, it usually doesn't close for, say, six or eight weeks. So in the last 10 days, buyers are back out there looking. As soon as the snow stopped, people were back out. But they start putting pen to paper, making offers. Those deals don't close for six or eight weeks. It takes a little bit of time to work its way through. So we think by May we'll be right back where we should be? I think we will be, and I think that May and June will be monster months. Home sales will be up dramatically, and everybody will say, wow, oh, my God, that's amazing, and it'll really be because of the snow just pushed everyone ahead. Does that make it a seller's market then? I think for the next probably month, month and a half, we are going to be in more of a seller's market, and then, which is typical of the spring. And then by summer, it'll, it'll slow down a little bit and be back to more of a buyer's market, or, or be more even, I should say. Anything else you want to hit on? I know you had a lot of stats in there. Yeah, th th there are a lot of stats. Like I said, to recap, it's clear the snow had an effect on the market. I mean, pending home sales were down as much as 19% in the first two months of uh, first two weeks of February. Obviously, not as many people were out looking or making offers. But I really, truly believe there's going to be a um, a big rush of home sales over the next couple of months, and it'll work its way back through.